So the reason for this work is to commemorate uh, the forgotten workers that have been part of the cotton industry and also that were particularly here at Cromford Mills. And so we're going to create a huge uh, sculptural project which is going to be placed right here in the middle of the um, yard uh, and it's going to be created as uh, symbolic portraits of the lost records of the women and children who worked at the cotton mills here and who are going to be represented by local volunteers who have offered up the photographs of themselves. The transatlantic slave trade, uh, the enslaved people who were involved in the cotton industry, they're being represented by Nottingham Bright Ideas, who have also photographed as part of this artwork, and then the um, Indian cotton industry being represented through photographs of my uh, family members. And so we're going to create uh, symbolic portraits of all of these groups of people. There's going to be about 22 people all together that will fit into this sculpture and they'll form like a, a giant um, over life-sized uh, portraits that will form a circle uh, behind us in this yard. So behind me here is the ruins of the second mill uh, which was lost to a fire and so the idea of the artwork is to repopulate this area um, with the people that were the workers here, both the workers that were here and the wider people who were part of the cotton industry. So they're going to kind of occupy this space and so you'll be able to kind of see it from a distance as you walk in and because of the way that the structure's made you'll be able to also go inside it and see it from the inside. And I quite like the idea that people coming in to see the sculpture will also see current day people sort of with the images of who were represented from history as well. So this is the second workshop in which we're taking the yarn from last week and weaving it into these mesh panels onto which have the drawings behind of the people that we photographed. And so we have local volunteers who've come to help us do all that weaving. And one of the reasons for that is that, you know, the piece is called Cotton Labour and we're really referencing and sort of celebrating some of that labour that was involved in, in, in these mills. And so it's kind of an important part of the process that we have um, manual labour from, um, from different people that woven into the project.